Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve this word problem on volume of cubes and cuboids. All right, so here's the problem. Find the volume of the carriage of the truck below. Is the volume larger than that of a cube of length 1.75 meters? Well, all right, so what we have to do first of all is find out the volume of this carriage over here, okay? And then we have to compare that volume with the volume of a cube that has a side of 1.75 meters. Okay, so first we find the volume of this object and then we compare that volume to the volume of another object. So that's what we'll do. So let's first find out what the volume of this carriage is equal to. Now the volume of this carriage will be the space that this carriage occupies, okay? And this carriage over here is shaped like a cuboid. It's rectangular and it's got this length over here, which is 2.4 meters, this width over here, which is 1.25 meters, and this height, which is 0.75 meters. Okay, now we know the formula to calculate the volume of a cuboid. We learned that in a previous lesson. So we'll use that, the volume of a cuboid is equal to its length times its breadth or width times its height or its depth, right? Now, the length is 2.4 meters. The breadth is 1.25 meters and the height is 0 0.75 meters. So it's pretty straightforward calculation. All you have to do is multiply these three numbers and you'll get the answer. Now, just to make it quick, I'm going to use a calculator. Okay, so let's do that. 2.4 times 1.25 times 0 0.75. And that's 2.25. Okay, so the volume of this carriage is 2.25 meter cube, right? Because there are three meters, one, two, and three. So the volume is always in cubes, meter cubes. So 2.25 meter cubes is the volume of this cuboid or rectangular shaped carriage. All right, so the first part of the question is over. Find the volume of the carriage of the truck below. Well, the volume of the carriage of the truck below is 2.25 meter cube. Now, the second part, is this volume larger than that of a cube of length 1.75 meters? Well, we don't know, so let's find out. So let's draw a cube. Actually, we don't have to draw a cube, but we'll do it nonetheless, okay? So here is what a cube looks like. Here's how you draw it here really quickly. Okay, this. Okay, now let's fill in some color into the cube. Okay, now the side or the length of the cube we know is equal to, that's given to us, it's 1.75 meters. Now what is this width equal to or this length equal to? Well, since it's a cube, the height, the length, and the width, they're all the same. So this is also 1.75 meters, and this is also 1.75 meters, right? It's a cube, it's not a cuboid. So a cube will always have the length equal to its width or breadth, and that's also equal to its height or its depth. So they're all the same. All the edges are of the same length. Okay, so now what is the volume of this cube? Well, the volume of this cube is simply 1.75 meters times 1.75 meters times 1.75 meters. It's simply the length times the width or the breadth times the height. So 1.75 meters times 1.75 meters times 1.75 meters. What is that? Let's see. 1.75 times 1.75 times 1.75. Seven, five. And that's equal to 5.359. Okay, so 5.359 meter cube. Well, the volume of this cube is certainly greater or larger than the volume of this carriage of the truck. 
So that's that. That's the answer. And that brings us to the end of this word problem. I hope you understood it. And I hope that now you will go and solve some other word problems. As usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. Don't forget to practice because practice will make you perfect. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.